13 love, 13 loss, 13 wisdom, 13 respect. This is your creation 13. Uh, today I want to talk about healing, um, allowing yourself to be the healer of your life. Um, life is so complex at times. Um, life is so busy at times that we forget to heal. Uh, we forget to reflect on life. Um, a lot of times we create this scenario of where we need to be for the healing. But the healing is right here and right now. Let me say that again. The healing is right here and right now. Um, just watching a, a live feed today um, and just seeing all these people gathered together. Um, they're hungry for healing. Um, they're hungry for uh, their challenges in their life to be healed. Um, they're wanting the the glory of God and the uh, uh, Christ healing within their lives, right? They're thirsty for it. They hunger for it in this setting. But you can do that right now. You can do that right now if you allow yourself to. Um, there's always a thing I've been saying ever since I've been making videos is I don't believe in anything, but I discover, I search, and I encounter faith, right? Um, if you have faith in Christ and the healing process, um, if you have faith in the angels and the healing process, right? That's the foundation and the expectancy um, of that in your life. Um, but you should never expect it, but you will encounter it at divine time. Uh, I really feel that <laughs> so many people, especially here in, in uh, the United States, uh, people are are greedy in a sense, right? Um, there's just so much things that are taken for granted. Um, spiritual encounters are something that's not meant to happen every day, right? Um, and trust me, I've tried. I've tried. Uh those supernatural encounters with Christ or with the angels and things of that nature happen at a divine time in your life when it needs to take shape, when it needs to form in your life to help on your path as you adventure into life itself and learning about life and mastering the trials and the tribulations that are in your life, right? But when you have those encounters, you expect more and more and more and more when you're not enjoying the moment and the times that happen. And I speak from experience, right? But the healing process happens right here and now, every day, every moment. Right, um, and whether you need to uh, write your strengths and weaknesses down on a piece of paper and start working on your weakness and start building in your strength, right? You got the power of prayer. You got the power of meditation. Um, nature is the best medicine um, to get closer to creation. Right, the creator, creation, and get closer to Christ if you're on that path, right? You know, born and raised in a Christian home, that's always going to be my foundation. That's always my go to, right? That's my deity. That's my guide in life. Um, and that's because you have to realize that this is your journey. This is your journey. Um, 
and the experiences and the encounters are yours, right? And how deep that goes or how simple it is, um, at times that answer is irrelevant because you need to focus on your healing and um, and understanding the processes that's happening, right? Because there's two key things that we have to be aware of that I learned on a personal level is that this is your journey and we live in a collective creational state, meaning that we have a whole bunch of potential for where life goes collectively, right? Individually is one thing, collectively is another. And uh, this is why Christ said, don't follow the ways of the world because they'll deceive you because you will miss out on your personal journey and your growth and development, right? Um, having those encounters, healing yourself, fixing yourself, um, becoming mature within your life, right? Eventually, you have to mature. Eventually, you have to be your parent to help guide you in life, right? You can't always depend on your parents. You have to do things on your own. Make mistakes, make great choices. Things of that nature are going to fall upon you at the end of the day. Um, and as you go through life and the journey of life, there's always going to be obstacle courses. There's always going to be challenges. There's always going to be your ups, your downs. And it all comes down to choices, right? And what kind of choices do you make? Um, it's so very important. Uh, what story do you encounter and experience? And is it is it by choice? Or is it a prime timeline? Hopefully that makes sense. Is it your main timeline that you're at? Because of the reflection of your journey, right? Like I said, those spiritual encounters with Christ or the Creator or angels happen in divine timing for those pinnacle points, those those points in your life that you needed those encounters. Again, if you have encounters every day, you'll take them for granted and you'll be greeting expecting more. Now that is um, something to reflect within your life and, and are you doing that? You know, Do you even know you can heal and fix yourself right here and now? You don't need a church. You don't need a religion. You don't need... Um, honestly, you don't need anything but yourself and your faith. Right? Um... You can believe in what you want to believe, but it is the encounters that build your faith. It is the exploration that builds your faith of whatever you're looking for, right? Um, it's just, it's, it's so important to help build each other up on an individual level. When you're focusing so much on on religious titles or spiritual woo-woo gatherings you lose touch with the self and you lose touch with individual growth is huge um, a look at Christ he focused on individuals who were in the lowest state of being and we have to look at that on as we learn about life and our wins, right? When we have wins in our life, we are winning in life. We need to help others win in their life because you overcome obstacles. So now you can be the, the teacher 
to those who are going through those obstacles, right? But the healing process has to take place in your life daily, right here, right now, every day, when you go to bed, when you wake up, even as you're going through life, you're working, you know, and be grateful for what you have, be grateful for the encounters you experience, people you meet, um, just things like that. You can make a difference every day. Um, and it takes maturity to realize that. It took me a long time to get to that state. Um, and I continue to learn and grow, you know, and continue to uh, challenge myself and look at different ways to uh, progress my path on my spiritual walk, build a deeper relationship with the Creator and with Christ, and continue to pay attention to my surroundings on who needs healing or um, a mature word or message, right? Um, that's what happens as you develop in life, as you begin to graduate, right? You know, there's a new age uh, saying of, you know, we're graduating, we're graduating, we're graduating. But you can't graduate if you're not passing the grades, if you're not passing the tests, if you're not maturing in life. So um, that would go back to the greediness of things of like, oh yeah, this person said I'm graduating, so we're all graduating. No, no. Um, we graduate individually. Um, collectively, things change. Collectively, things change. It's like a business, right? The collective is like a business. And as each generation comes into existence and the older generation passes away, um, things evolve and turn into a different state of being collectively. But individually, you're having your own experiences and encounters to upgrade or downgrade, ascend or descend at the end of the day. Um, so I just want to share that. Um, definitely feels like there's a lot more to say, but uh, I'm going to leave it at that. So healing starts right here, right now. You can speak to the Creator, speak with Christ, the angels, uh, for the healing process to take place. It takes time, it takes days, weeks, even months. But those encounters will happen when the divine timing is right. When you're ready for that challenge in your life to be completed and you pass that test, then the encounters happen. Um, but then the next trial will happen because it's all about maturing at the end of the day. You're going to mature and learn from these trials and tests. But you've got to have that healing um, mentality every day. Healing in the morning, healing at night. Praying, meditation, getting out to nature, getting closer with the Creator. So I could go on. So hopefully that helps you out. So love yourself. Keep shining bright. I'll talk to you all later.